My name is Janik. I'm from Quebec, Canada, and I grew up in a small town not too far from Montreal, and I'm a textile artist. The work I'm making here, it's like I'm working around this idea of rest and the bed and sleep. I've been doing work in the past that represents like objects that are meant to support the body or could be activated by movement. And for the project here, I focus mostly on the bed, but I'm kind of, um, I've been searching different type of bed and like different type, like different function. And so I'm kind of building this large monolith uh, that will be suspended and it's kind of an accumulation of different type of beds that are used in at different moment maybe in a person's life. I'm based in Montreal. It's a great city to be an artist in. We get a lot of support. There's a great community. It's, you know, very affordable. So I think that had allowed me to make the work I'm making without the pressure of making something that I feel I absolutely have to sell. Being there gave me this freedom that I think it just made me confident in believing that I can make large things. It brought me to this stage of, you know, really giving myself challenges and like exploring and trying things and not being worried about the scale or the material or uh, conservation or all these things. Um, but still like as an artist, you want to make a living and you want to be able to show your work. And that is kind of the challenging part over there because it's just a small world. It brought me to tell myself that I needed to, to move and go somewhere else. I think this is kind of like the step I'm taking now. I'm trying to go explore and discover, you know, what's going on somewhere else and what are the possibilities and try to connect with creators and other, other artists who maybe are also making large scale work. I mean, this is like my ideal studio space. Like I love it. It's just have the studio and then I have the shop just like in the same room. So I get to do all the work in one place. They did a good job in like putting together kind of a real sculpture studio. So it's, it's, it's been great to, to be here. It's been three years now that I, I started to use welding a lot in my work. So that is definitely like a resource I, I need a lot. And it's not necessarily an easy one because very few spaces are equipped with a, a metal shop. And I definitely want to use it more and more and like improve and like learn other techniques because there's like a, a lot of different techniques with, with welding and metal in general. I think it's happening more and more through residencies actually because very often it's kind of the way we can figure out you know, how to use a specific technique because it's like you won't equip yourself with a super specialized shop. It's interesting because this other project um, I've been working on before coming here, I've built it through the different exhibitions I've had because my studio was too small to make it. So it's always kind of the same challenge as the space. Uh, but I started to use the different venues that I'm invited to to show my work to actually start the project and like build it and, and like continue. So it's been like three different shows now and I have this project kind of like getting bigger and bigger because of that.